Since the release of Forza Horizon 5, there has been one single race played more than all others. A race that at one point in time yielded more rewards than any combination of events in the game. And of course, the race I am talking about is the Goliath. Upon Forza's release, people were racing to be one of the first ones to unlock this race. And to understand why, we actually have to take a look at Forza Horizon 4. When Forza Horizon 4 released, the same race was in the game. A race that took you around the entirety of the map in one single go. And very early on, people realized you could set up an event for this specific race that would allow you to complete it completely AFK. So very quickly, people started to make events that were up to 50 laps long so that while you slept, you could put a rubber band on your controller and choose the automatic steering option allowing this event to complete overnight while you slept. After completing the event, players would not only receive hundreds of levels, but they would also receive millions of credits for having to do absolutely nothing. Now when Forza Horizon 5 released, it wasn't known for sure whether this same glitch would be in the game or not, but players were hopeful to say the least. And sure enough, as people unlocked the event, they came to realize that you could do the exact same thing. And this lasted in Forza Horizon 5 for about a month until it was finally patched out, causing a majority of players to finally lose interest for good in this event. But not all players lost interest. Still, there remained a group of players that had interest in this event for a very different reason. Players that couldn't be bothered by their account level or amount of credits in their bank account, but rather they cared about their position on the fastest speed time on the leaderboard. Now the first recorded run for this race comes in just after the game's release on November 19th, 2021 by a user known as Zinth. Zinth submitted his run in an unimaginable time of just 10 minutes and 8 seconds. An incredibly fast time considering most players can take nearly double that to complete this race. However, his record would not stand very long as just three days later his record was smashed by a player known as Exa with a time of 9 minutes 21 seconds. Exa then proceeded to improve his run by nearly 16 seconds setting a 9 minute 5 second time. And that record stood for a little bit until 17 days later when user Fluffed off, set the first sub 9 minute time coming in with an 8 minute 50 second time. The record then bounced around in the mid 8 minutes for a good number of months trading back and forth between users until a user from South Korea posted this run. The user known as Hauser starts off strong, cutting every turn as close as he possibly can to the checkpoint while still staying on the road to maintain grip and speed. His car of choice for this run, like many others, was the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition, as this is the best track car for maintaining top speeds in the game. And as for number of attempts to get this clean and precise run, it's relatively unknown as this is the first and only footage Hauser has ever submitted for speedruns. The run continues very smoothly, and unfortunately had to stay muted for copyright reasons. Corner after corner, Hauser stays focused on the track and appears to make no mistakes. Through the Goliath race, it is known for having a large amount of straight sections that allow the user a mind break. However, there are still a great number of tight corners where one is to drive with absolute perfection and there is little room for error. One section in particular where that is the case is this windy section right here, which in the game itself is an actual drift zone meaning it's this little section that can make or break runs, and Hauser knew it was coming up. Immediately upon entering the zone, Hauser cuts the speed down to 260 kilometers an hour, which still feels faster than that corner should be taken at, but manages to still take it perfectly. With that first corner out of the way, the rest of the zone is relatively easy and the corners get gradually more and more sweeping. And from there, Hauser was able to maintain speeds upwards of 350 kilometers an hour for the last minute of the race and crossed the finish line with a staggering new world record. Now to make things even crazier regarding Hauser's world record run, was this run wasn't done on sim wheel nor was it done on controller, rather Hauser completed an 8 minute 27 second run 
on mouse and keyboard. And they weren't even fully satisfied with the run. Hauser didn't feel they performed their best in the first half of the race, being sloppy on some corners and not maintaining speeds as fast as they felt they could have. And as stated by Hauser later, they felt a time of 8 minute 25 seconds was completely possible. However, as of right now, that time still remains to be seen. Hauser's record has now stood since December 22nd, 2023, and it doesn't seem like anybody's racing to take that spot away. So for those of you watching, if you think you could beat this time, I urge you to try as there is still a lot of life left in the lifespan of Horizon 5. And I'm sure Hauser would love a reason to come back and attempt even more runs. If you guys enjoyed this style of video, let me know with a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.